finishing, head and arm, karagatami, arm triangle, I don't care what you call them. How do you finish those chokes without hurting people's necks? Let's have a look. All right guys, finishing head and arm chokes. I love head and arm chokes. Um, you get short stocky guys who love them. I love them, I'm sort of like a lanky guy. Uh, head and arm chokes are great. There's only one problem though. If Reese lies down here, uh, this side is fine. I'll let you get wherever you can. Is, I get his arm across. Here we are, and you may have been here. You might be finishing it the normal way like this and putting all your pressure down. And guys tap and they say, oh my neck, I had to tap because of my neck. Or maybe guys just aren't tapping because you aren't strong enough to hurt their neck enough to make them want to tap. Either way, there's a problem because even if you do hurt someone's neck, unless you're gonna break it and paralyze someone, and even then, when are you gonna use that uh, technique and know it works, you wanna choke. We wanna choke people. Just because you wanna put someone to sleep in a real fight, MMA or street or something, and in, in training, you don't want to hurt your partner's neck. That's so important and part of their body. So let's have a look at how we make it into a choke. And I have to give full credit for this to John Will, um, uh, one of my coaches in Australia, an incredible man, incredible coach. You guys have to get on a plane and train with this guy. Um, and he really, he made me go from hating this choke to loving it. And I'm going to tell you just some of the tips he's taught me on this one, because he's great at it. So here I am in some sort of position and I get to a head and arm, okay? Obviously this happens from everywhere. Probably where it's happening to you guys most would be from side control here, and you get your head around, and now we can jump over, and here we are in a head and arm. You could go from mount, knee ride, anywhere, but if we've got a head and arm, how do we finish it? Different than most people, okay? But I believe I can get most of my students within seeing this within just 10 minutes, to never hurt someone's neck again and just get pure blood chokes on people bigger than them. So let's have a look at some of the tips I've picked up. First things first, my right hand will be palm down, my left hand palm up, and I'm gonna go head to head. Make sure there's no daylight for him to backstroke out, okay? So make sure we stay head to head. Now that I've done that, I'm going to switch my base. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that my left leg and right toes are on the mat, but nothing else is. I'm then going to lift his head up, and now, this is gonna seem weird, I'm gonna push my hands straight out, like I'm trying to go in the same direction of his spine, and then I'm going to pull my hands around as my head opposes this way. So with my hands, I'm gonna go like this, out, and around as my head leans in. So out and around as my head goes in, okay? What I'm trying to do is get my bicep to squish in this way and take as much slack out as I can. And then I'm gonna show you two more processes to take out even more slack. However, 99 out of 100 people that I choke like this will tap by the time I'm done this first part. So I'm here, I've got my butt off the ground, I've got his head off the ground. Already this is not fun. However, when now I go out and around here, this is so much. Let's have a look why Reese had to tap. One, my weight is compressing his lungs. That's not fun to breathe. Two, I'm lifting his head up, which is making his airway not very conducive to breathing, right? Like almost choking him by pushing his chin in, okay? It's smothering his face, literally suffocating the guy. Okay, that's not a fun process. But I'm also cutting off his carotid arteries, okay? And even his trachea when I get this that tight, okay? So people are gonna have to tap. However, we're just gonna go a bit easier here on Reese, and he's gonna pretend like he doesn't need to tap. So I go out and around and Reese isn't tapping and it's really tight. I might go again just to make sure I've got it tight. But this dude is so staunch, he's not tapping. Well then we're gonna to have to tighten it in the other directions. And this is really where John will help me with this choke. So one in a hundred, someone's not tapping. Well first, we're then gonna get belly down real low and we are going to run until we can't run any further. That's gonna help wing his shoulder up into his neck. Once I've done that, the final part of this choke is then going to be just like finishing a north-south choke, where I pretend like someone steps on my right shoulder as I squeeze in. Okay, if you do this all, 
together, out, around, drop, run, and then squeeze. You'll get a really wonderful choke. But the thing is, guys, you'll get so good from here, you won't have to do any of that nonsense. I never have to do that. You can just get a guy, put him into a choke, up, out, and around, and you just hold that. And if you practice on a grappling dummy, thank you, Reese, and sorry for choking you. <laughs> If you practice on a grappling dummy and practice holding that choke for 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds, people are, even if they don't tap to the choke, they're gonna feel like throwing up anyway. And so as long as your training partner is tough enough to, to cop that kind of damage, um, that is a really wonderful choke, you know, and I've seen it work great from guys in my academy who are, you know, 120, 30 kilos, big guys, to people who are like 45, 50 kilo female athletes, all right, whatever that works out to in pounds. So I think it's a really great technique and most importantly, it lets you choke more people and hurt less necks. And I think that's probably a good thing. Thanks for watching guys. Happy choking. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.